Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be doing mermaid style nails using 3D art, spider gel, ombre, glitter and hand painted art with Swarovski crystals. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to be informed when I have a new video uploaded. I'm going to be starting my first coat with CMD Shellac Gummy and Taffy. I've already infilled my acrylics and I will be uploading this video soon or click the link in the video. I'm going to start the first ombre nail by putting Gummy on one side and Taffy on the other. I'm then going to get my ombre brush, which I'm going to use to merge the two colours together. I'm then going to go in and do a second coat exactly the same way. I decided to go in with a third coat just to make the colour pop more. This step is optional, it all depends on the gel paints that you are using, whether they've got enough pigment in them or not. I'm using Semilac in strong white to do the shells. And then I'm going in with a second coat just to make the colour pop a bit more. For the next two nails, I'm just going to do a coat of taffy and a coat of gummy for each. and then going in with a second coat again. Once again I decided I wanted to do a third coat of the white just to make it a lot stronger. I'm using Indigo Pixel Fat in Cinderella to use as my glitter.
For the thumbnail, I'm doing a coat of taffy. Halfway through doing this I decided to change it up so what I'm doing is an, uh, another ombre using taffy and gummy but instead of doing it vertical I'm doing horizontal this time. And then I'm going to go over with my glitter again on my thumb. And then I'm going to go over with UV gel top coat just to seal out all the colour in while I do the design work. For the index finger I decided to put a chrome so first of all I need to take the sticky layer off and then I'm going to buff it to take all of the shine off so that the chrome doesn't stick to it. I'm using my CJP Line It Fine brush and also I'm using the Indigo Gel No Wipe Top Coat. I'm using my Indigo Glass Me Chrome Powder and my Silicon Tool. I'm getting a tiny bit of the powder and rubbing it in where I've put this top coat. You can see now why I had to matte it before putting this powder on because it's now not sticking to the rest of the nail just where I've put the top coat. Use a dry lint free pad just to take off any excess powder. And I'm then sealing it in with the gel top coat. For the 3D effect of the shell, I'm using Indigo Nail UV Gel Paint. So I'm loading my brush up and I'm almost doing a teardrop shape, but an elongated one. So it's thicker at the bottom and goes really thin at the top. I do this by pressing down on the brush at the very bottom and then as I bring it up, I'm pulling the brush up from the nail.
a little finger I'm going to use my Semilac Spider Gel and all I do is bring it up, work it up and then spin it round and round the nail so it catches on my tool. For the fish scales, I'm using my Aero Puffing Gel Paint in ST012. I'm then going to mix a little bit of UV top coat in with it. And then using my Line It Fine brush again, and doing little semicircles on my nails, almost like in a brickwork effect. I'm then going to go over them all one last time with the UV gel top coat just to seal everything in. Before I go on to the crystals, I'm then going to take the sticky layer off using IPA. So I've got Swarovski's in Paradise Shine and Crystal AB, and I'm going to be using CJP's glue, it's, I think it's called the Gripper Glue.
then decided that those two crystals aren't enough and that I need more. So I then decided to get the Swarovski pixie effect and I decided to put those in between each of the little crystals. And there you have it, my finished mermaid nails. Thank you so much for watching. I will put the links in the description of all the products I used. And like I said, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell button. Bye!